Hey guys, it's Jake, and right now I'm currently in a cave in Gorim, which is in the Cappadocia area of Turkey. The area became super popular because of Instagram and all of the hot air balloon pictures. In this video, we will slowly work my way around the hotel room and check out all the things you can do within this area. Step six, mud mask. So it's kind of crazy down here. Like I don't know how to feel. So we think we made it to the bottom. We have the graves. Currently five in the morning. We're trying to catch our flight. We have booked a car and I'm really hoping that it works out. We made it to Kayseri. We are going to make the transfer over to Goremi, which is only about eight dollars. Seems like an hour drive. We have arrived, and let's show you around. The hotel we're staying at is pretty cool, and you have rooms which are inside the actual mountain, which gives it that cave. Feel. We have a window which overlooks the whole area. Being in the cave and they don't have any kind of air conditioning right now, it is currently 95 degrees here, which is kind of a bummer and it makes it kind of warm. You go into the bathroom, it's pretty nice in there, but I wish there was some kind of fan or you know, some kind of air movement because then that would be a huge help. The nail, which is cool about our room, is that as you come out, you're able, oh god, uh, to have like a little balcony here and then we also have a place where we can go up. What is nice though is when you do have these hot days there is a pool we didn't use it today because we're still kind of jet lagged so we were catching up on some naps. Good morning and it is currently 3 30 in the morning we have a pickup time in 25 minutes to go on a hot air balloon ride and they have a ride. We'll check in, we have like half an hour um, until we go out. We're able to get like some snacks and then some coffee as well. This is for sure one of the experiences that you hope is just gonna go well, but so random. The crazy thought that maybe we would be the only ones here but the place is packed. We've taken off. So I'm pretty sure this is the Love Valley. Because these look like something that a man would have in his love making region. I am learning that I don't like heights. Not a fan of height. Very like the seatbelt thing, and I see the ones up there. I'm like, I don't really want to head up that high. Like, why? I think I'm good right here. I don't. Uh, I think it's not really my thing. Okay. Yeah, the whole process was pretty cool. Every time I try to talk, and this happened. The whole process is cool. I would highly recommend it. Landed, we have survived, and to celebrate, we get champagne. Thank you. Fly to everybody. Hey, have earned a medallion. You went up in the hot air balloons, but even if you don't, it's still really cool to be able to watch them all go off.
this one, but you'll understand why soon. Now we're gonna head over to a Turkish bath, which I believe goes back to the Roman or to the Byzantine Empire. But cleanliness goes hand in hand with holiness. We're trying to get as clean as you can. First step in the process is to hop into the sauna. We've been in here for 20 seconds and it's already getting pretty hot in here. But in all actuality, it's not any different than what we sit in our room. So it's about the same so far. Two is a steam room. We skipped lesson three because there was a lot of soap and rubbing and I asked her to make camera and she said no and then I respected that because I needed to take my shorts. So it's a whole thing, but if you want to see more about it, watch a video by Drew Binsky. Number four, we're in a soul. We now just sitting on some chairs. Step five, we now have tea. Step six, uh, mud mask. One thing to be aware of when coming to Turkey is that it's not always easy to get your ice cream when you want it. Come on! I take the cone. I'm, I'm tired, man. Good. This enough? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hotel is cool. We're basically in a cave, which is kind of random, but new for us because who has stayed in a cave before? Back to the hotel. We did a quick wardrobe change, and the power was out. Which, staying in a cave sounds cool, until you realize you may not have power in a cave, you may not have air in a cave, you may not have a fan in a cave. We made it to the Sunshine Cafe, to get some coffee and some breakfast. It looks like the Wi-Fi, the power is also out. There's places that are across the street which are working, so I don't really know what's going on. We were having a couple warm days, but we had a rainy morning, which kind of cleared up the air. I hope that it's going to be a better weather day. We came to King's Coffee. We have a latte, and then I got a vanilla filtered coffee. We got a variety of things to eat. We got scrambled eggs. We got some toast and a spinach thing. This area has a lot of underground cities, and today we found a taxi driver to be able to take us to the deepest one. We actually made a stop along the way to overlook the La Valley, which is pretty cool. Off to the seagull. This is the Uchazar Castle, which is just a lot of dwellings which are up inside the mountain right up here. The Uchazar Castle was first mentioned in the 14th century. The castle stands nearly 60 meters high. The castle is also near Pigeon Valley. You will see a lot of, of these blue eyes around, which is just like a good luck thing. So you're able to purchase an eye and make the wish. Made it into the underground city, and now we're heading down. We're gonna see how it looks. This was a winery, and that's where you put the grapes in, and then you would push this button, and out comes the wine. So it's kind of crazy down here, like I don't know how to feel. And like it's cool, but I'm just kind of nervous to be underground so deep. The city goes back to the 8th and 7th century BC. The ground city goes like 85 meters deep, which is 280 feet. The city is large enough where 20,000 people can live underground here. This is 20,000 people, including their livestock as well. These kids are pretty tight squeeze for some of that 6'4". I'll keep that in mind if you're coming through. Oh god. So we think that we made it to the bottom. We have the graves and we have the ventilation shaft. Either way, I guess I'm ready to get out of here. So we're gonna go back to the exit and get out. This city was cool. Low key, about halfway through, I was kind of like, I don't want to be here anymore. I like I'm ready to get out. <laughs> I'm going to the city. I have other shops and things that you can do in the area, or 
you have a fuel where you you can take pictures if you want to do that also. The price to get into the underground city was 60 lira. Going around Cappadocia, they have a different tour options. One of the options is to basically do the same thing we did. They add in a couple stops, but that's an all day thing. But we were able to get a taxi ride, which is gonna take us basically two hours and we got the same thing. It was $35 round trip for the both of us. You guys could do me a huge favor and tap the like button. It just lets YouTube know that people have the content so we'll get shared with more people, which is a huge help for me. But uh, now back to the video. In the town, we were able to walk to the open air museum, which is a group of houses as well as churches, which were abandoned at some point. We're gonna do a tour around. What is estimated is that 2.6 million years ago, ash and lava formed soft rocks. The softer rocks were eroded by wind and water, leaving the hard cap rocks on the top of pillars, which are known as the fairy chimneys today. When people learn that they can carve out the center, they turn those into homes, churches, or monasteries. The churches date back to the 10th, 11th, and 12th century and are hidden to avoid persecution. There is a lot more interesting information about this topic, but I didn't want to give you too much. Wow, that was a lot of cool information I just gave you guys. So we tried to go to the Open Air Museum, um, and if I read the sign, right, it said that it was 600 lira, which turns in to 60-ish US dollars, and we felt that we could use our money in a better way, and I got the gist of the area uh, by going to the free stuff. Some quick tips about the city. They do have prayers which go on, I don't know the schedule, but at different times of the day, sometimes, and that's in the middle of the night, and if you're not used to it, or even if you are, and it may still wake you up, places we have been able to use a credit card and some places we've even used the US dollar. Odd uh, to me is that with this kind of climate and I don't know what kind of tree that is but it was a pine tree to me and it just seems so odd with this weather. It's super small and trying to walk anywhere is like crazy easy because you pull up on a map and then you walk it and it's like two minutes. We made it to Little Nature, Nature Little, the tiny nature, Nature's Little Kitchen, Asian place, which has which has handmade noodles, has something which is like spicy potatoes. They warned us on just how spicy it was, so we'll see how that goes. But we'll let you know. Food's really good. We're looking to take a break. Some of the local cuisine, and then I would highly recommend it. We're gonna try some Turkish wine from our coffee cups. Let's see how it goes. I mean, it tastes like wine. It also tastes like a $7 bottle of wine as well. Thing we didn't get a chance to do was to go to the salt lake which you may want to it, it is just a giant lake that's pink world the area is really cool but a lot of times it seems like you may be doing a similar thing they can do somewhere else like with going to the uchazara castle that's kind of similar to the open air museum they have different kinds of underground cities and things like horseback riding or riding an atv or going on hikes, but it's all kind of the same look. There's a lot to do and a lot of cool history. This is our first Turkish bath, and for me, I thought it was pretty cool. It's like almost like a mix of like a bath of you have like a person bathing you and then also giving you a massage. And I like it better than having a massage because after massage, you're kind of oily and you feel like you need to take a shower. But with this, I felt super relaxed and clean. And what'd you think of it? Hey. Really enjoyed it. I thought the whole experience was super nice. Um, you like do the sauna for a while and then into the steam room and then they take you into like this marble bathroom and um, they just rub you down with all kinds of soap and like 
give you like a little massage and like the lady washed my hair and gave me a little head massage <laughs> and like then they like have this like kind of a neat towel that holds bubbles and yeah. they just like squeeze bubbles onto you and it, it just like is really nice <laughs> and then we like went into the salt room after and they brought us tea and like painted a mask on us it was lovely well, if you're in turkey or if you ever had the option we would recommend it for sure thanks so much for watching and hope you guys have a better idea of what to do in the cappadocia turkey area and if you want to see some more travel videos then you can check out my channel page or if you want to be around for when to post my next video do not forget to subscribe i'll see you guys next time